possibly a more impressive stat is that 38% of those leads are sellers and they gave their address. That's the key is that in a world where Facebook has removed the address field from the lead form and pure free home eval types of ads, basically it's just who can spend more money, right? In, a, in, that, in that world, we have designed a product where two out of five buyers are sellers and they've given their address. That's really powerful. That's a game changer. real buyers that will show up. We write letters for those. We're very specific in the letters that we write. So let's say it's Nick Baldwin. I'm going to write up the letter and it's going to say, hey, Mr. Seller, I've got a husband and a wife, Nick and Ann, and they're looking for the single family residence. It's in your neighborhood. He did say we're live in the Facebook group. So, um, so look, you know, I uh, I work at Wailopo with Jeff and Michelle. I also am a, an LCA moderator, and uh, and I told them that I would uh, kick us off. And we what we really want to do is we want Jeff. You know, he's a senior digital marketing strategist. All right. Yep. Yep. And he owns his own digital. Well, what is technically, what is Steezy, your firm? Yeah, digital marketing agency for real estate agents. So he also has a digital marketing agency. And um, and so super sharp guy, um, amazing at uh, advertising copy, the angle of the consumer, um, just really, really impressive. And so what we're going to be doing is Jeff is going to be sharing um, just some details of some really compelling information on, um, you know, just all things digital marketing, generating sellers out of buyers, just all the cool stuff that Wailopo has been able to do over the last year. Um, you know, he's going to give us the inner workings. And uh, I have no doubt that uh, everybody that's listening is going to be learning something. So myself included. So Jeff, man, uh, I know that you have some information for us. I'd love for you to kick it off and just uh, get to it, man. Awesome. Can everyone see the yep. title slide here? Yeah. Awesome. It's nice of you to put my name on there too. I appreciate I that. I did. I did include you very. It's pity. It's pity. It's gotta feel I, mean, bad. I put your name first too. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. You did. <laughs> Thank you. That was kind of you. You didn't have to do that. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so the title of this training today is 38% of buyers are sellers with Wilopo's new dynamic registration leads. That's a powerful statement. Yeah. Right. Two out of five of the buyer leads or sellers, that's that's pretty powerful. So let's dive in and just focus on pure value so that when you leave this webinar today, you will understand where the online lead generation game is going and make sure that you're in position to set yourself up for success moving into the 2020s and beyond. Yeah, and uh, you know, just that title, right, that you, you provided and, you know, you two out of five, these aren't, this is, so what is your opinion if I, if I came to you, Jeff, and I said, Hey, I'd love to hire you to run home value leads. Like what's your home value? What, mm -hmm. what is your, I know I'm as usual derailing the presentation, but what is your, what would your commentary be to that? Just for those listening. I would tell you that we can absolutely accomplish that goal and get up the tried and true free home eval ad. However, I also suggest running buyer lead ads because with this dynamic registration technology, two out of five of your buyer leads will not, not only be sellers, but they will also give their address. Mm. You'll, you'll see in, the, in a moment here that the stat is actually higher of the buyers that indicate they own a home, yeah. which is even, even more mind-blowing. So, All right. All right. I'll shut up now. Go that would be the uh, the response there is that yes, pure sellers are nice, but they are far more expensive 
than going yeah. this route and having the dynamic reg technology working for you. Love it, love it. So dynamic registration, biggest release of 2022. And it's on the tail of the quote unquote cookie apocalypse, right? The iOS 1415 situation of the last year or two that has limited Facebook tracking off Facebook, the Google announcement that they'll be deprecating cookies within the next couple of years. It's very important nowadays to have what's called first party data. And this dynamic registration technology leans heavily into the first party data type of mindset. By the way, if you're already a YLOPO customer, congratulations, there's no cost. Every YLOPO client has dynamic registration already. We fundamentally shifted as a company to focus on long form leads and capturing much more first party data through the lead registration process. So first, let's define dynamic. A lot of these terms are thrown around. There's assumptions made that everyone understands what this means. So dynamic in the adjective version is a process or system characterized by constant change, activity, or progress. And honestly, I couldn't think of a better word to describe the product that Wilopo, myself, and the team have designed and brought to market. You'll see in just a moment here how dynamic this product really is and how rapidly it has changed, how many iterations it's gone through to get to where it is today. So 699,605. That is the total number of leads generated by dynamic registration this year so far. That's a monster number in and of itself. Just that level of data. I mean, imagine instead of doing this yourself, if you had 699,605 leads coming through your funnels and your experiences that you then could look at the data and optimize off of. The learning just happens so much faster, right? So we're at a level now where our velocity of learning is so rapid that it's, it's very difficult to keep up with what we're doing here at YLOPO. So possibly a more impressive stat is that 38% of those leads are sellers and they gave their address. That's the key, is that in a world where Facebook has removed the address field from the lead form and pure free home eval types of ads, basically it's just who can spend more money, right? In, a, in, that, in that world, we have designed a product where two out of five buyers are sellers and they've given their address. That's really powerful. That's a game changer. And lastly here is 48%. Well, that's the percentage of leads who indicate that they want to sell or they own a home, but they did not give their address. We could have on the title said 48% of buyer leads or seller leads, but we chose to be more conservative with our number and tell you the, the seller leads that gave address right? It's actually even more that say they own a home and give you the opportunity to then through scripting, which Barry is amazing at, pull out the fact that they actually need to sell before they buy. Right. You have some comments there, Barry? Yeah. I was just, I wanted to just speak to this a little bit because first of all, you're spot on the way that we put the numbers. We actually, instead of like inflating, we said, we're only going to count the seller leads that have an address. Um, and what we, forgive me if you're, if I'm going ahead, I, uh, but, um, what I'm excited about with this type of seller lead is that shopping for a home is such an emotional, exciting journey. It's easy to talk to a lead about buying something. It's hard to talk to a lead about selling their house for a lot of reasons. And this has just done such a great job because we can, you know, we can be our natural agent self and talk to them about where they want to move and just do an oh, by the way. So this this has been huge for us. Um, and it's really exciting stuff. It's a really good point. And I'm glad you brought that up, Barry. You've been instrumental in the scripting and the whole funnel process that we've designed, which we'll show you here shortly, which focuses on that excitement of buying a home. When you said that, I remember some of our strategy meetings months and months sure and months enough. ago, you yeah. talked about how Selling is typically from a painful type of life event and how buying is so much more of an exciting journey Talk to the consumer about. It just instantly clicked and made so much more sense. Like yeah. 
when, when, even when someone does have to sell, it's, uh, it's a more exciting part of the journey to think about where they're going next and where they're buying, where they're transforming into, rather than focusing on getting their house ready for sale, the problems that probably led to that, whether their house is too small and they're upsizing or a number of other things that all of you are so familiar with. You just know that the, the listing process and kind of extracting that from a consumer is much more difficult than, hey, what are your favorite parts of that city that you wanted to live in, right? Like, what are you going to do when you get there? Right. Like, what kind of hobbies do you do? Oh, you, you mountain bike. This is a great area right by the trails. So you can ride out your back door. That's such a more exciting, fun conversation. So this Absolutely. whole technology leans into that and takes a consultative approach towards the buy. And then, as you mentioned, Barry, oh, by the way, what is one of the obstacles that is in between you and that purchase? Oh, you need to sell your home. Perfect. Right. Right. We got you. It's like you. actionable intelligence. You don't have to lead, like as the agent, we want to lead with, oh, they're a seller because that's what I, selfishly I want to talk about. I want a listing, um, but we got to focus on, and that's what that's what you and the digital marketing team at Wailopo has been able to do is they've been able to create advertisements and conversion experiences that focus on the consumer instead of the agent. And the byproduct is me, the agent gets a better lead. <laughs> Right. So let's continue. Lead registration used to be static. And this is industry standard for essentially the last 10 years since online leads started. Quick definition of static. So we're all on the same page, lacking in movement, action, or change, especially in a way viewed as undesirable or uninteresting. I mean, how boring is first name, last name, phone, right? <laughs> It's like, give me your contact information and in exchange, I'll, I'll let you see these homes. I'll send you this list of homes. Hey, look, I'm not really bashing it. It's just funny to look back now because of how far we've come from this. This right. worked for 10 years. Right? Right. And, right. and it, it was called social currency, right? We are providing something of value. And in exchange, we're not asking them for money up front. We're just asking them for their contact information. It's a simple concept and it worked really well for a long time. Well, turns out consumers got smarter. They got inundated with email, all kinds of spam, all kinds of things that just, they overwhelmed them. And, and all of a sudden they're like, I don't want to get my contact information out anymore. I don't want to just sign up for everything. So they create fake emails and they input fake phone numbers and they learn these ways to get around registering on these sites while still getting what they want to see the list of homes, see the shiny new object, right? And so this is how it used to be. And there was no change. Name, phone, email. The only change right. was only ask for email. <laughs> <laughs> ask for less. Ask, oh, only first name and email, right? Like well, that was the only change. And actually, if we're being transparent, this is still what most of uh, like yes. lead gen providers are still using is this type of registration form. Yes, 100%, most by far. And I honestly haven't really seen any that are doing the dynamic reg version of what we're doing. No. Some have a single form that asks more questions, Right. but still even then that converts far less when, they, when the consumer lands and can see all the questions at once rather than what we're about to show you. Right, right, absolutely. So let's, uh, let's dive in. This is dynamic registration. When someone clicks on either a Google PPC ad for a home search in Denver, Denver Homes for Sale. And PS, by the way, we're also expanding this on the Facebook side. And we have some interesting Super things exciting. there, but, yes. but not quite you know, out of beta to show you yet. So this is tested. This is the PPC side. Google PPC traffic that has generated 699,000 leads this year. They do a Denver, home, Denver Homes for Sale, boom, free home search engine. So they go to a landing page and this pops up. By the way, most traffic by far comes from mobile devices. So if you're with a vendor that is not mobile optimized, that you're already, you're already shooting yourself in the foot because it, you really have to be mobile first nowadays. I like it is, when like the, the heading like runs off the side of the phone. Exactly. They have to like scroll sideways to like <laughs> submit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so free home search engine, show me homes with, right? And now when they click one bed, two bed, three bed, it automatically goes to the next step. 
So very intuitive, very easy, boom. Now there's a little progress bar that jumps in there. We've tested all these things. We've tested this layout. We've tested these questions in, in the way that they're asked, what question to ask first. How many bathrooms? Boom. OK, what size home would you like to search for? Um, this. And remember, we're still on the buyer side, right? We're still on the buyer part of the journey. This is one of the questions right here that makes a dynamic registration process. So depending on if you want to do different things with someone who's pre-approved or not, maybe tag them differently, refer them to a lending partner, for example, we can now capture this data and say, pre-approved or not? Yes, already pre-approved, don't refer to lending partner, but probably increases the lead score, right? The, the lead oh, yeah. quality. Next, this one, when do you plan to buy? This is key because if they say I'm renting, I'm not buying, boom, renter filtration. Right. We just we just let them view homes later, right? Like they don't even finish the form. If they say now within three to six months, we're doing some really interesting things that we can't quite uncover yet. But uh, that's that's a different that's a different product that we'll be releasing very soon. I, I want to say focus on this version of dynamic registration because yeah. now we have so many different versions and it's really exciting. Okay. Well, in you know, just for the listeners, Jeff, sorry, I know I keep interrupting, but that's all right. Uh, um, if you think about the person that says more than six months versus the person that says now, if I'm a salesperson, I'm going to continue the conversation differently. That's a big water bottle. Sorry. It's giant. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to the person that says, I want to move right now differently to the person that says I'm, I'm waiting, right? And it's a different type of conversation. Why haven't we had a funnel that adapts to the different needs based on these different parameters, which yes. is the whole point? Yes, and that's what makes this dynamic. Not only are we on the back end looking at the data of these question completion fall-offs and then creating new paths, that's the constant change aspect, but the, the funnel, as someone goes through it, changes their journey. It's right. really cool. Yeah. Okay. Next, when or sorry, do you need to sell before you buy? What an important question to ask, right? <laughs> well, this is another one of the questions that makes it dynamic because right here, if they say yes, now in the PII, the personal information section, we ask four questions: name, phone, email, home address. If they say no, then we don't need to ask them for home address. That would be quite redundant, wouldn't it? So we only ask for three and everything changes after this as well, accordingly. So this is a question that shout out to Josh and the, the PPC team. They came up with this because they noticed some very interesting data, uh, which I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. They noticed that when people opted in, when leads opted in for listing alerts, they were 30% more likely to register. And also this, helps to shape the end of the, the funnel experience. Because now when they say instant or daily or weekly, where should we email your listing alerts? What a natural next question, right? It's not just, okay, now we have your, your home information that you want and we know you're a seller, you know, name, phone, email address. It's like, well, we built this profile for you in this saved search. Where do you want us to send those? And that's even an assumption. So they answered the question, do you want to see listing alerts, right? It's just like right. these, these little tweaks, it's built so much trust, it's so much more consultative. Well, so, and these, these subtleties, guys, that's the difference between like an average lead and a good lead and a, an expensive good lead versus a, a, a non-expensive good lead. Mm -hmm. You would be surprised at like changing two of these words, how the consumer interacts with it. The question do you need to sell before you buy? Honestly, it's not a great question. We found out later. Now, I'm not, I don't know if you're going over that, but I'm not going to talk about the other questions we have. But we were able to come up with new ways and, and, and surface the, the, the need to sell by these subtleties. So it's, it's mm -hmm. really fascinating. Yeah. And that is even more advanced of a version of what we're showing. So this oh. is, is, is one version of Dynamic Reg which by the way, 
as a wide level client, you get to, you know, have access to many and launch different ones and be a part of betas. We, as Barry mentioned, have identified better ways to word questions, which then all add questions or stem to other paths and it gets a little more complex. So yeah. this is what a lot of the traffic was based off of over the last six months or so. And so I wanted to show this one in particular. No, I'm glad. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to share the secret sauce anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so where should we email your listing alerts, right? So email, full name, phone, and we have all the TCPA compliance. The moment that they enter it, they're texted by Raya, right? There's actually a text confirmation now that says, you know, to confirm, is this your phone number? Yes, right? And then they type yes. So we're doing email, phone number, and address verification. Just as a, as a side note, you know, these aren't mistyped or bad numbers or X, Y, Z, right? When they start to type in, the address, it actually brings down a little drop down and says, oh, do you mean this one? And they click it. And so I think that's a big deal, but that was a huge uh, engineering undertaking. Huge engineering lift. Yeah. To do to, that. To, to fit that in a pop up. Uh, it's just, it's, it wasn't simple, but it did give us real addresses. And mm -hmm. so guys, like just, just as a, like, I want to really highlight that when it's time to get the money shot, when it's time to get the address, right? uh the people abbreviate they do weird things they type fake addresses we're pre-populating real addresses so that the likelihood of them giving us real information not only is easier but more frequent yep boom okay thank you one of our real estate consultants will be in touch right away and then they get to view listings so let's just review here real quick the number of qualifying questions asked in October 2020, 21 was five, right? Name, phone, email, and maybe like one or two, like timeline, something simple. Number of qualifying questions asked in August, 2022 is 12 to 15, minimum 12. And if they choose a different journey, they might be asked up to 15 questions. Some of our other funnels now are asking like 23 questions. It's getting, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have one that asks a hundred questions, but. <laughs> Conversion rate on clicks in October 2021 was 8%. So we're asking five questions and we are getting an 8% conversion rate. Higher conversion rates are good, right? Conversion rate with dynamic reg in August 2022, 11.97. This is what kind of like doesn't make sense about this product. Is we're asking double or triple the amount of information from the client, we're asking them to spend way more time on site. And our conversion rate has gone up by 50%. Could someone explain that? Like why that makes sense? You know, I've actually spent a lot of time, more than I probably should, to be honest with you, thinking about this, because guys, like, if, if you're not a math person, big idea, we went from five to 15 questions, and the cost got cut in half kind of like more or less like it, it went and went so that goes against everything all of us ever thought about lead conversion i mean it's logical to think more questions better quality more expensive and mm -hmm. i really just think that the consumer values the process of creating a search profile we've thought of questions that they they hadn't thought of and uh, it feels like we're in touch because you know instead of saying do you want listing alerts? We already know they have, they want listing alerts since where should we send listing alerts? And so it just creates this profile that the consumer values. That's the only thing I can think. Jeff, I don't know if you have any additional thoughts on that, but it doesn't make any sense otherwise. I do have some data to refer to. And that data is primarily in the order of questions. Mm. When we ask for personal information first, conversion rate was lower and the leads were more expensive. Mm -hmm. Same questions. When we reverse the order and we at, we focus on the consumer first, we ask for all of their, hey, free home search engine. Uh, oh, they start square. buying, but what, you know, home, home, like square foot, bed, bath. We start focusing on what they want first. Right. They go through this process. There must just be more trust with that because we saw a complete explosion of conversion rate when we switched those. It's such a simple thing. 
we just took the data and we're like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Let's chase that. Like, let's figure, let's keep going down that rabbit hole. And now we've, you know, it started with way more questions in the same conversion rate. And then we started beating the old conversion rate. And we're like, what is going on? Right. I, rem I actually remember the meeting. It was all, all the, like all the digital marketing team. Uh, and I think it, I, it might've been the social one I, anyway. And I just remember all of us scratching our heads. Like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It was like, it was like, is this for real? We're asking triple qu the questions and the leads are less expensive than the conversion rates higher. It was ridiculous. We've got, we've got some comments here. Uh, Samantha says you're going on a date first rather than proposing immediately. It makes Boom. sense. It's pretty cool. That's a great analogy. Samantha. Great analogy. Michael Penny uh, uh, is offering to help in beta. Um, that's awesome, Michael. Uh, it, um, I don't know if you're a user or not, so I, it's hard for me to know exactly um, what to tell you to do, but uh, definitely just reach out to your account manager. Um, yeah, but that's, that's yeah, great. great. For feedback. sure. Yeah, I, I know Michael well. Uh, he, he gave me a shout out when he saw I was on the Lab Code Agents uh, webinar this week. He's like, <laughs> awesome, dude, congrats. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So um, next line here is total not interested Raya conversations in October 2021. This is an important stat. Raya is our AI text-based follow-up, ISA, right? So when a lead registers, part of the tech stack of Wilopo is that we have an AI-enabled very sophisticated chatbot that it will focus on sending out information that's relevant to what the lead registered with, sending them listing alerts via text, not just email, right? And keeping in touch with them in clever ways and sparking conversation. The total not interested riot conversations in October 2021 was 35%. Down is better, right? We want way less not interested when people say not interested stop right they unsubscribe we want that to be way less total not interested riot conversations august 2022 9.2 percent so that means that the quality of these leads that are still interested after riot engages has increased significantly i mean i don't even know the percentage breakdown or the double triple amount on that at least triple, but it's reduced by three times minimum. Um, and that's really exciting, right? That's for me, I've always had the goal of generating sales conversations for real estate professionals, mm -hmm. not, not just filling their database with leads, uh, regardless of whether they responded or not. And that's always been my big why and goal is yeah. if I can tee up qualified sales conversations to a good real estate professional, they will take it from there, right? right. They will, they will then build rapport, build connection, get them in the car for the first drive around. They'll get them for the listing appointment. They'll take it from there. They'll, they'll get them under contract and close them. I just need to do that as a marketer. And so this is really exciting because these metrics are showing that we're getting closer and closer every single day to accomplishing that goal more and more often. And your statement reminds me of uh, a conversation I had with you where, you know, you, you and I both were expressing, um, the desire to innovate and make things new and to be a part of a group, you know, with the, with the, with the marketing team at Wilopo for us to be able to actually make something that nobody else has made. And, right. and I, I have a theory, you've been at the digital marketing game longer than I have. And I have a theory that digital marketing, you have to stay ahead of what um, the consumer understands. Like, because they're, they're, they're smart. They'll figure out this stuff and you always have to be one step ahead. Um, so it's really cool for us to be able to, you know, continue to, to walk that out. Yep, absolutely. And uh, it's called the innovator's dilemma. And uh, basically if you're an innovator, you have to continue innovating right. all, at all times. Otherwise you'll, you know, you'll be surpassed, right? Just like the, in, or die. in the inherent nature of the industry that you're in. So we focus a lot on that and hence why we already have so many other versions of dynamic reg. We didn't stop. We didn't just blow our old registration out of the water by 50% and, you know, triple the quality of the leads and stop there. We're like, what else can we do? This is, this is cool new technology. Like let's, you know, <laughs> let's right. keep iterating. And it, it, yeah, it's, it's really fun to be in that environment, be a part of that team. Um, 
So just as a, as a note, before we go to the next slide, we've gone through over a hundred variations of dynamic registration to make it better. Imagine having a full-time staff of some, some of the smartest marketers in the world and definitely in the real estate industry all day, just looking at this stuff, looking at this data, meeting with Barry, asking about little script and copy tweaks and just, oh, let's try that. Let's A-B test that, let's A-B test that, let's A-B test that, right? And just all these variations, right? So we've already gone over a hundred variations that, that we could show you in our, our history of like what we've done here. And it's, it's just cool to continue to iterate. And so, actually, Josh, Josh just jumped on as well, Jeff. Uh, Josh has been in on some of those meetings. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, so many. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, just jo Josh uh, has been, Josh Frankel has been instrumental. I mean, the full flow that we showed you from start to finish of, you know, the question answer uh, order and inserting that, do you want to receive listing alerts question? A lot of that has been credit to Josh. Josh will always say, Hey, credit to the team, right? So many people have, he's very, very humble, but uh, really, really appreciate Josh's input on everything, super smart. And he's, you know, a big influence on the PPC oh, yeah. strategy overall for Wailopo. Yeah. So um, yeah, Josh, if we can get him on, on um, to host, that'd be great, but we'll continue here for the, for the listeners. So leads that wanted listing alerts, were 30% more likely to register. This is that data that I mentioned before where we inserted that question and we've realized that when leads say yes, they want instant or daily or weekly, then we get a massive lift in registration. And little details like that have helped boost our overall conversion rate, but it's also just interesting data to know. Like, yeah. oh, interesting. The leads who are not interested in listing alerts, in other words, were 30% less likely to register. So once again, if you're going after just those pure free home eval leads, but they're not interested in listing alerts, maybe that means that they're not really interested in selling. They're one of those, you know, oh, I might just refinance or I, I might just uh, do out a home, home equity loan, right? Mm -hmm. They're not in the buyer side of the real estate journey which indicates the double end opportunity, right? The buy and sell. So I think that data is can, really interesting. It could be in, interpreted a few different ways. Yeah, I really like that as well. And I think a lot of times in the real estate, digital marketing technology space, I feel like a lot of times the approach or the strategy is based off of somebody's subjective opinion of what is going to work and all this stuff. And what I really like about what you're showing here is, you know, the metrics and saying, okay, this is what the data is showing us. And based on this, these are different learnings that we can institute in other questions and processes. So it just keeps yep. folding and folding and folding into one another. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is Wailopo has built a flexible lead conversion platform that we're working hard on every day to make database decisions on how to increase your marketing performance like never before. Your performance is only going to get better with this product. I mean, this is where we're at today, right? So imagine where we'll be in another year, another two years, five years. 48% of all home searchers say they have a home to sell. 80% of the above number provide their home address, hence the 38%, right? So half, essentially, of the people that are going through this funnel for searching for homes in a local area have a home to sell. And then four out of five of those are giving their address at the end, which is a big quality indicator. Here's some additional notes that are added in the CRM nowadays. So instead of just name, phone, email, you kind of have like a blank lead record. Now we are adding so much more into CRM address, plan to buy now, sell before tag, yes, uh, you know, sell before buy tag. So there's all this extra information that's in there that allows you to ask certain questions, right? To spark conversation, to follow up appropriately. And here's an example of the autocomplete address, right? Um, formatting isn't perfect here because I don't think it was actually on mobile. This is like a zoomed in screenshot from desktop that was put on the phone, but you get the point that this, when you start typing the address, confirms and completes the address here. And, and as 
Barry mentioned huge engineering lift to get this to seamlessly go into our form and then integrate with all of our client CRMs. So big shout out to the product team and uh, all the engineering efforts that went into this. Um, mapped sellers to existing seller tags. So I need to sell before I can buy, right? Different tags that we can launch now, different action plans in follow-up boss or other CRMs. There's, there's communication when they're going through this dynamic experience, we can now tag them appropriately or differently based on what they are answering. So it's one thing to ask the questions and, and it's another thing to ingest the information and then integrate it properly. <laughs> Right. Because that changes my, our messaging as a team, you know, yeah. um, whereas like the, I need to sell before I buy I, tag is still for us a buyer outreach. We're able to subtly start to institute PS if you still if you wanted to check your home value, you know, here's like we can start to inject that into the conversation as we see fit. Yep. And Barry has helped our scripting still stay buyer focused during yep. that and then morph into seller. So we don't want to bait and switch. In other words, we have this beautiful journey where we're focusing on them, 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 buyer. Oh, you're excited. Oh, by the way, you have a house to sell. Oh, cool. Hey, what's that address? And then we're like, when do you want to meet for a listing appointment? <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there was a moment sense. where we weren't sure, right? Like, yeah. you know, like, is it buyer or seller? And it's like, oh no, we'll do buyer. Yeah, exactly. And based on data, we've noticed that there's a much higher response rate and, you know, all of the qualifications lead into that. But uh, Barry is very sensitive to the uh, buyer and seller perspective and, and what they're going through. And, and that's why his scripts and copy are so good. So yeah. next is a uh, full seller address in notes. So that's cool. But what's cooler is what I'll show you towards the end because now we actually put the address the address field um, in InFub. So th this is just getting better and better by the day. Phone and email validation. Whoops, the email you provided is not valid. Test at gmail.com is not, not a working email, <laughs> right? So we have uh, both email and phone verification now. So we actually have them uh, respond back with a yes. You know, like we text them or call them and have them confirm. So you know, all of this is helping to verify and qualify the lead prior to ever sending them to you. Uh, and it just helps to not waste your time calling tire kickers or people that don't want to talk to you and put in bad information. Now, renter filtration, as I mentioned before, I'm renting, not buying. Boom. Now we do lead filtration and we would just go ahead and let them go through to the search site. And, uh, you know, it's all good. Renters can browse homes. And uh, we might cookie them and get them back later when they're ready to buy. Now, here is the much cooler part about the address that we had that we captured today. So at first, we weren't able to immediately put it into follow-up boss when we we're dealing with APIs and, and different CRMs. And so now today we have a address when we ingest it, it's auto-populated into the follow-up boss address field and it launches the homebot digest immediately. So valuable, so cool, and really excited every day. You know, the, the, the additional supporting little little widgets that are stacked onto Dynamic Reg just get better and better and better and better and better and better. And better. All these all these things that our agents are like, hey, we're manually putting them into Homebot. Can we have this launch immediately? Yep. Right now we do. Well, and for those that maybe don't know what HomeBot is, I'll just oversimplify. It's something that is sent to a homeowner that they like to look at. Yep. And that's hard to do. It's hard to keep a homeowner's attention. This does it phenomenally. And so we partnered with them a while back. And now that we have all this new data, we were like, man, let's let's connect the dots here. And it's been a pretty dynamic um I'm, I guess I'm overusing the word dynamic, but a pretty amazing uh, process to watch. I think I think you were using dynamic in, in uh, a, a slightly different. Yeah. It, it was it was either the like the noun version of it or you yeah. Know. Fun fact: uh, I didn't learn what a noun was until I was 23. All right, keep going. <laughs> so really, we're we're getting towards the end here, but takeaways are that this type of lead registration is where the industry is going, it's where society is going, 
right? We want more first party data because your third party data is being restricted. And in the real estate world, we want to make sure that we are focusing on asking the right questions at the right times to help build trust, take a consultative approach and guide the consumer to you and let them know that you are the real estate professional and the authority that can help them accomplish their goal. So make sure to ask your vendor if this is something that they offer, right? If you're currently having some online leads generated for you, uh, make sure that they're doing something like this where it's a much longer form process. There's you know phone, email, and home address validation in there. There's filtration if people are marketing that they're renters, that they even ask if they're renting, right? Some, some vendors may not even ask that question. And uh, just wanna make sure that you ask your vendor about that. Uh, you could also do it yourself. So takeaway here is that you could take this information and if you're a tech enabled savvy agent, you could go try to like rebuild this process and, and you might be able to run your own Google PPC traffic and have success there. I mean, this is meant to be educational, help the industry as a whole know where we are going as, as the leading online lead generation company in the space. And last is Techstarter for YLOPO. So Techstarter is like 300 bucks a month. And with that, you get the whole tech stack of YLOPO and you could run your own Google PPC traffic to Dynamic Reg. So a really powerful, inexpensive way to just get introduced, get started with YLOPO. So uh, next step, if you are interested in just learning more, asking questions, we do have a team standing by and ready. So you are welcome to book a free demo with YLOPO to learn more about Dynamic registration leads. Uh, that is the link there, bit.ly forward slash bylopo dash LCA. And if I have a moment here, I might be able to put it into chat. Is it already in the chat here? Not yet. Boom. There you go. Well, it's at least in the chat on Zoom. We'll get yep. it into the chat on Facebook momentarily. Are there any questions? You know, I, I think for a lot of people, I know if I was listening to us talk about it, I think it's more like you're being exposed to something new and it's like kind of, you're trying to process it and try to make sense of it. I know anecdotally with my team, um, th there's a couple of reasons why I think this is the case, but we, we're still seeing from Google and Facebook uh leads that come in and within the first 30 days we're having substantive discussions about their plans and that is um that has not always been my experience with social or ppc advertising um i think that the consumer has the mindset of they're they're, they're mentally getting prepared to actually okay someone's going to be contacting me and which helps you know, helps the agent have those conversations you were talking about earlier, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. And there was a question here as well about mortgage. So mortgage is in beta. Mm -hmm. um, just as, as a, a little note, we have a lot of things in beta. You know, the way that we're able to rapidly learn and test. Wilopo has such a large user base now that we have a lot of innovative real estate teams that want to be first with something. And so they really enjoy letting us you know try something new test it and the benefit to them is the first to market with brand new products and you know the benefit to us is that we get really rapid feedback for these products and we're able to innovate them faster and faster and make them better and better so mortgage is on the horizon and no firm date joe but just know it's coming soon uh, we yeah. do have clients in beta and we're having success so do you have something else barry real quick Oh, I was just going to say that I, I just sent a draft for the AI part uh, today. So for, for mortgage, um, mortgage, the, the texting and all that stuff. So we're getting close. A lot more compliance in the mortgage world, man. It's oh, yeah. a lot more minefields. Yep. So one other thing that Josh mentioned in the chat here and reminded me, which is a very good thing to note, is that the dynamic reg experience that you saw today on this webinar by the time you sign up might be different we are always testing we're always changing and you know the the sooner you sign up the better because you get to be earlier to market with this technology and be ahead of the curve 
Plus, if you're already paying for online leads, uh, you know, this type of technology is much more efficient and helps your team to be excited about the leads rather than, oh, I got to, you know, follow up with another one of these, another one of these, right? right? And Barry can talk about it, about oh. just the, t- the team morale when it comes to online. Yeah, you got to, I've, I've found dividing and conquering uh, because it seems like the top agent um, has built a big enough business to where everyone that comes to the a- top agent already knows, likes, trusts, uh, knows what they want. And so then they do deal, this influential top agent deals with a lead source where they don't know who we are and they, they don't know what they want yet. And they, they'll, I mean, why would you want to do that when you could just work with people that know what they want? Right. Um, and, uh, and so then they tend to negatively influence the perception of the other agents. And so I've merged four teams into one. And each time I did the same thing, I just found a small group of agents that were really hungry poured into them, helped them, and then allowed that social proof of, look, if Johnny can do it, you know, he's only been licensed for three months, but if he can do it, so can you. And that has always worked. So just a little tidbit help for you guys as you start to try something new. But this was great, man. Really, uh, really great presentation on the product. It's hard to explain. So really, really good presentation. Thank you. And thanks everyone for attending. So with that, we'll wrap it up for today. Once again, if you want to learn more, book a free demo with Ylopo, uh, bit.ly forward slash Ylopo dash LCA. The link is in the chat. Link should also be on Facebook. Uh, Have a fantastic day, everyone. All right. Thanks, buddy. Have a great day.